Hey guys, and welcome to this weekend's haul. Um, just three packages this time. Um, if you saw my wavy holiday um, photo book package, you noticed that um, in tens I was missing um, one of the ten exclusive pieces that I got in Lucas's. Um, and so I reached out to Choice Music LA in regards to it. And it kind of sounds like a 50-50 thing in regards to asking them to replace missing items inside of your packages, like inside of the actual albums. It sounds like that's a no. Like, not going to probably happen because their stance is pretty much, I didn't make the product, it's not my responsibility. Which is like a pro-con thing in a sense, I guess. It's like, yeah, I get it, you didn't make it, but it's not like I can reach the call up the manufacturer and be like, hey, you shorted me something in my package. So in a consu in a sense as a consumer, that just kind of seems like bull BS. I mean, you can't just say I have zero responsibility on anything that happens or goes on with these items except for the exterior because then that is our fault due to it got damaged because of our lack of being shipping it or packaging it properly to arrive to you. So, I mean, it's kind of like, really? But, I mean, I talked to the manager, um, I believe his name was Philip. Um, he's like the shipping manager or whatever and I talked to him on the phone about it and I'm like I'm like really guys <laughs> I can't call the manufacturer on this I'm like I wanted to give it away as a gift to one of my friends who's a huge fan of 10 and I'm like don't need the extra photo book or anything like that I basically was like I can't do it now I'm missing half the stuff I'm like, all the exclusive items is missing. And he's like, well, due to your purchase history with us, which is a lot because, as you guys know, I buy a lot of albums and a lot of things. Um, he's like, and we did receive a severely damaged copy of Tens. So, you know, we can't really sell it because it's damaged. We'll give you the pieces from inside that one. I was like, okay. I'm like, I'll take it for sure, but it's like, I don't know. It's like, it kind of, I'm happy I'm got, I got it replaced, yet it kind of, the whole situation, the whole thing kind of rubbed me the wrong way, too, in a sense. It's like, from a business aspect, I get it, but you also can't just say, like, drop it and be like, back up from it. Like, really? Because it's like, if I was missing it, probably contacted Amazon they'd probably replace it or have me return it and they'd send me a new one. Or when I had this same issue happen with Yes Asia, I got like um, multiple pins of the exact same member when you were supposed to get one of each member. They didn't do say anything. They just were like, hey, send us a picture. Um, so, you know, we can see which characters or members you have so, and let us know which one you're missing. And then they're like, will ship you the new one. No hassle, no nothing, no no problem. And it's like, really? You're only making an exception really due to my purchase history? And then he was trying to make excuses with the whole like, oh, you know, people just want to say they didn't get anything so they can try and get their bias. It's like in those sense, I get it. But it's like, this is my first case with you bringing up a claim that I'm missing it. I have video evidence of me literally peeling the plastic off of it and not having it. I sent you the video evidence. I sent you photos. I went above and beyond to make it seem like, hey, I'm not shady. You know, I didn't get it. And it's like, I get people might do that to try and get their biases and stuff like that. But it's like... I felt like they were being more shady than I was and then they're like let's get we'll send you a bunch of posters too for free for the hassle and I'm just like that's a really crap policy to just be able to be like hey no I mean if someone's bringing up claims a lot saying they're not getting things then yeah I'd say something and be like hey we can't reimburse you at all but if I give you video evidence it's my first claim over like the 
I probably have purchased over a hundred items from them probably by now. And I have, this is the first claim I have, and you're kind of, kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time about it. I'm not overly impressed, but, so I mean, I kind of was thinking about looking for a new company to buy from within the United States, but I don't know. I'll have to think about it some more, because it's like, what are the chances of it really happening again, though? Um, that, like, something like this happens where I'm missing a bunch of items from inside, but I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what actually occurred with that. They, like I said, they did ship me the return pieces. They sent me pictures of it and were like, confirm that this is everything missing, because once we send it to you, the deal's done. There's no comeback, sees, there's no, if it gets damaged, nothing. You're just SOL. You're very clear about that. It's like... I get your, the legal need to say some of this stuff, but it's like, you're coming off as a dick. <laughs> uh, it's like I was very nice the whole time, and I was like, I mean, I sell a lot of official goods, and, you know, my duplicates and everything like that, and I'm like, I sell my own products, and I'm like, so I get it, but it's not, you can't just completely wash your hands of responsibility on um, things. But anyways, here is Ten's little packet. Let's open it and look at it. Um, because I'll probably just link to this from that video so if people want to see it they can definitely come do that. So, let me just pull everything out of Ten's little envelopes. Of course it's a little envelope that says Way V. And then we have some nice large picture cards and then oh, another group one and then we get like a little letter and we get more of a smaller type of pictures and then like a Polaroid and his photo card. Alright, so it's like, that was a lot, it was pretty much everything from his 10 specific, except for the, like the little um, booklet part. But, that's the 10 stuff, that's what came in that one. Uh, my next package here, <laughs> has my phone in it. <laughs> Excited to carry it up here. Very, very well wrapped and packaged. Oh, here that has my my address on it. Is hi. Now this. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture um, of open this end of my Ravenclaw pin or comb, whatever you want to call it. I, you know, that I got because I wanted something from um, the house, Hogwarts house I'm in, and I am a Ravenclaw, which makes me happy because blue's their color, and I love blue. Um, so, um, I had been talking about wanting, you know, an authentic something from the movie that's Ravenclaw. And so, my parents told me that they bought me something for Christmas. Um, from a website that makes authentic replicas, they're licensed and everything to make authentic replicas, um, of the Harry Potters, and it's something that is Ravenclaw. So, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's in this box, it's from, um, Noble Collection, so I guess they make more than just Harry Potter as well, but... Let's see what they bought me for Christmas. This is like the only gift they got me. It was this or K-pop. So they're like, do you want, sorry there's a fuzz, they're like, do you want Harry Potter or do you want K-pop? And I was like, I do just fine buying K-pop for myself. <laughs> I'm pretty on top of that. So I told them Harry Potter. Um, so it comes in this box. Oh, it's got a little Ravenclaw on it. I feel like I should be probably unboxing this in like an actual video video for my second channel, but that's okay. 
Maybe I'll do a more in-depth unboxing on that channel, but. Okay, on the bottom it just says Harry Potter. Probably some copyright info. Pretty plain on all the sides, except for the front with the Ravenclaw. And then I will let you guys see it first. Ta-da, ta-da, da-da-da-da. Can you see it? All the nice. Woo! I'm dropping it! Hi, the zip bubble wrap is very well wrapped, so. Okay. The inside has a nice crest on it. And then we get like a little Noble Collector's book, so probably like a little pamphlet of other stuff they saw. Good thing this is so well wrapped. Because, <laughs> of course, I drop everything. Okay, bubble wrap. And then it's in some black tissue paper. Oh, it's poking out. What is it? Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. My. Oh, jeez. It is the actual Ravenclaw diadem. Diadem. Well, how do we pronounce it? crown it's basically the hairpin they that I got like the official one. <laughs> oh my god okay okay it's so pretty like the sparkle on these diamonds outshine those sparkles okay I don't know if I can really wear it because my hairpiece probably won't allow for that uh, okay something like that is that how I wear it? I shall wear it for the rest of this. Probably not because it's already falling off my head. But look how pretty that is. Okay, I'll have to do a video just for this beauty. Oh my god. Like, how do you tuck in here? Present yourself beautifully! She don't want to. All right, we'll find a way to present you beautifully. Let me put this back in there, but I'm gonna have to text my parents and WTF at them. So now I have a fancy one for occasions and then I have my everyday wear one. <laughs> we'll put this one in for this video. <sighs> All set. All right, now my last package is from Choice Music. This thing probably ain't gonna cut nothing, and I don't remember where I put my knife. It was probably around. I'm sorry my tongue's red. I bought a huge pack of Airheads, because I haven't had them in like forever, and they were like my addiction as a child, so I thought I'd buy some again. See if I still remember it. Okay. This is actually cutting through, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Nope. I think I just busted the tip off of it. Yep. Okay. Should be good enough. Mm. I'm trying not to use my right arm too much because my right shoulder's been hurting for like over a week. I don't know if it's because I've been watching my niece Sadie more and she likes to be bounced to sleep so I don't know if that's why it's hurting. She'll be one in May. Oh, the little love. Alright, so I'm going to pull out all the packages so I can get rid of the box. Okay. That's it. I just cleaned up all this box mess and now it's all back, but... <sighs> the price we pay... I'm trying to be gingerly with the bubble wrap because I need more bubble wrap. So we have Way V's 2021 season greeting. Oh, looks so pretty. Ooh, look at the little, look at all the sparkle going on. Boy, I'm excited. I'm excited. 
And then we have, who's in this one? Up, up, uh, here we go. No, I don't need you. Now I can kind of see it. MCT 127. There's. What's it going to be themed? It says Target. It kind of, the from the way this looks, kind of reminds me of like maybe like a sonar map or like those maps that are used on like boats and things like that. Alright, and the last package. Can you guess who it is? It is another season's greeting. It is EXO. Of course. Breaking news. Ooh, so they're going to be like a news station themed. And that's actually all the SM ones that I purchased. I know NCT had like Dream and I think something else as well. I'm not sure. Dream, NCT 127, I don't think, yeah, and I think that was it, because Wavy's technically under NCT as a subgroup. So, that's all the ones I got. Um, I kind of limited myself on how many season greetings I'm going to get. I always get a lot, um, but I did try to limit how many, so... I've already ordered all the ones that I want. Feel free to ask me in the comments if I ordered a specific one and I can let you know. Um, quite a few of them have already shipped. Um, let's see. I have Stray Kids on the way. I have a Tease, of course. Monsta X, and I got one Ho. Um, because I'm like, <laughs> One ho is Monster X for me. <sighs> He's just like on Monster X hiatus. And then... And then I already uh, opened a couple others. Astros, Chungpa. I think that's it. I think that's all the season greetings I bought. No, BTS, of course. But I bought them from Weverse and TXTs as well. So those are all the season greetings that I bought, so hopefully I got one that you want, um, but unfortunately I will not be buying any more than that. They are pricey, uh, the season greetings, so I do try to limit myself on how many that I get, but that is it. Um, I know we do have a three-day weekend, because Monday's a holiday. My mom is coming over to help me organize my photo card collection, so I'm planning on doing a video with her for that. Um, we probably won't be putting the photo cards away, but I have so many I haven't put away yet. I have them, like, everywhere. So I just kind of need to organize them so I can put them in the binders easier. So, yee, yay mom, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said on my second channel, I will be going through the Harry Potter crown. I did get some more Harry Potter Legos um, that I'm going to do a build and unbox type of thing. So second channel is everything that's really not K-pop unboxing, I guess. Everything like that will be going on my second channel. And then this will also just strictly kind of be more for my K-pop unboxings or other K-pop organization type videos. But yeah, like, subscribe, and share if you want. And until the next one, bye guys.